Hello, and welcome back to Environmental Station Alpha with Brian. Last time, we just opened up a way into a new portion of the station, and it's really exciting for me when I end a recording session with lots of new possibilities, because now I'm coming back and it's like, oh, there's all these new directions I can explore. And so I'm excited to see what we find. So, we can go back to where we fought the first boss, and I might have enough vertical mobility to get to a new location in that room. So this was the first boss. And now, yeah, I can just jump up here. Well, if I do it right, there we go. <laughs> and hey, it brings us to another save point. Okay, that's cool. Don't see anything else obvious in this room. These look almost like blocks that would break. I can go down here. And it looks, I don't know if there's anything else hidden in here. Let's not worry about it for right now. Whoa! Okay, this is a whole portion we've never been to, and it has some new music that's rather quiet. Alright, and it's got some spikes and laser beams. I guess I just did save, so sure, we'll hop down here. Check out what's going on. I see, well I can dash through these things, I presume, so I imagine I can just do that. And there, that's going to unlock something. So what did it unlock? Something back up higher, maybe? I didn't get a good enough look. I suppose from here, let's wait for those things to go past again. I can do this. And then... And then what? I didn't get a good enough look. I guess I could grapple to the right and just kind of like see what happens. Let's try that. Okay, I'm here, and that unlocks something else over here as well. So I think if I go too high, I end up above that block, and then I'm not in a good spot. So I think I want to go just to the right, and I'm not really sure where, so let's just try a small jump and a thing to the right. Oh, grapple! Uh, shoot, something. Okay, that just opens something else further back over in the room, and I think I'm going to need that, so let's go back this way. kind of a confusing puzzle when some of the bits seem to happen kind of off screen. I wonder if it opened a way that I do want to go out the top now? Let's try grappling again. Oops. Uh, let's try that again. How did I do that before? I guess I did a double jump. I don't think I did a double jump though. There we go. Oops. Ouch. All right, even with the damage boost, I couldn't get up there. I could break those. Does that help me at all? wonder if I can grapple. I might be able to grapple up through there. Let's give that a try. So if I do... Uh, yeah, I can totally do this. So let these things go past. Grapple. 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 Jump dash. Oh, oh my goodness. There's a big thingy. I have a feeling I'm going to need to kill it. And it causes... Okay. Hmm. So, there's a boss at the end of the room, or it's not even a boss, it's like a mini-boss or something. Um, and I presume I have to beat it and then it's going to let me go somewhere else, would be my guess. Alright, now that I know what I'm doing, maybe this will be quicker to do. So I go over here and I shoot this. Oops. Go over here and shoot this. And that opens a way to then go over here and do the next one. Okay, the double jump there. That brings me to here. That unlocks this. And then... And then what? If I go here, take a little bit of damage, I unlock that, which seemed to unlock something back to the left. Oh, which probably... yeah, maybe it unlocked a portion of this wall. In any case, it gives me the ability. Oops. All right, screwed that up to do this grapple, perhaps. And then I need to pay more attention when I'm fighting this boss. I don't know that I'm dealing damage to him very often. I fought that thing a few more times and looked back at the video footage and couldn't tell if I was dealing damage or how to kill it, so I'm just going to leave it behind for the moment. 
and go in other directions because there's still a number of other things I could explore right now. One of them is on this screen. Apparently there's a way to go right as I fall down. So let's see if we can manage to do that. I see. I need my blue charge shot ready to go there. Okay, that's kind of a pain in the neck, but I can teleport back around and get there. I don't know why I'm trying to teleport back around. I can simply quit the game, which brings you back to your last save. So I can come back here that way. It's much quicker. Unfortunately, like when you restart after a save, like the animation is pretty long. But oh well, let's not complain too much. Yep, yep, okay, I managed to get in here. Great. Okay, so I'm in here. Oh no. Um, I can probably still get out of this by doing just that. Yeah. Okay, so I want to go this way. <laughs> oh, but this is closed off to me. Okay, so maybe it's a way back. And then it looks like there's a place to go over to the left as well. So suppose I wanted to do that. Yes, I can shoot them out from here. There we go. And so I should just be able to do this. Oops, crap. Uh, that'll work fine. Oh no! It, uh. <laughs> it's deja vu all over again. Okay, so going to the right... Oh, hey, bad guy. Alright, one hit point. I don't mind. Let's try going to the left. This is charged up. Oh, darn it. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. See? Wasn't that easy. So where is this going to take me? Interesting. Uh, it's just a way back up. I guess? Hmm. Am I willing to accept that, or do I think that there's more? Oh, there was like, hmm. It doesn't look like there is a way to ever go left there. I'm confused. I feel like I missed something there. Well, while I'm exploring things, over to the left is where we originally started. Can I possibly grapple under here if you hit the bottom? It just kills you. Okay. Okay, last time I tried to solve the elevator puzzle, and there was a secret passage that I could fall in from the elevator shaft to my left that ended up falling through the left-hand side of the screen. Oh! Have I ever gone up from here? It looks like I have on the map. But I didn't previously have the upward dash ability. What was up at the top of this? And how did I originally get through here? Oh, I guess I could just use the grappling hook in order to get up here. I wonder if there was something at the top that I forgot about. It doesn't look like there's anything at the top of this, and it's very suspicious. Let me go up there really quick. Oh, right, there's this crazy boulder. <laughs> I'm getting distracted from the original reason that I came up here, but we're going to do it anyway. Because it's been a long time, and I don't remember what was in this place. I see. This was just to get, like, an energy tank or something that was here. Okay, that's fine. So the reason that I came back here is I was thinking last time I couldn't figure out how to solve. Actually, can I watch where that thing lands? Does it help me at all? It just explodes, okay. I was thinking that possibly there's another exit out of this room down here where you wouldn't normally look that somehow was going to get you into that other pipe in the room below. And right now it doesn't seem that way. Is there any other possibility? It's been a while since we've been over here. This is this crazy room that kind of has a wall that turns around when you do this. And we came through here. Yeah, we'll get to see the room with the pipes in just a moment. Let's go ahead and kill that. I actually, did I check to see if there's anywhere else I can go over here? I don't think it matters, because yeah, those are all rooms I've been to. But this is the room where basically I couldn't figure out a way to fall down through the right pipe. And yeah, it's still just a mystery at this point. I'm assuming, that's assuming that's, a, that's even the way to get to the computer that's below here that I've been trying to get to. Maybe there's some other way to get there? It actually looks like there could be from the right of this room something that goes along the bottom of this screen, possibly. Hmm. 
Okay, if I look at notes one from the diskette, it has a question mark at one spot that looks like the reference. And it looks like there's a secret here that can be gotten to by going down from this room. So let's go check that out. So basically, it seems like there's a secret way to go down from this room. Oh, I have to like jump through the poison maybe? Can I see the way to get down? Is there another way to get down over on the left-hand side here, actually? I don't see it there. And I don't see it here. All right, let's just try swimming through the poison and see what we find. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. So here is a new secret, and somewhere below me there should be something marked with a pink X on the Notes 1 map. Okay. What do we got? This is so weird. Oh, it's a computer. Okay, information. Tell me what you got. Pillar 2 has now been unlocked. I think at the very beginning of the game, Pillar 1 had been unlocked, but I'm not even sure where these pillars are. Um. Oh, and there's a way out down here. Where is this going to bring me to? Into this room that I haven't been to in a while that I don't think matters. Uh, there's a whole section of the volcanic section down there that it looks like I've never been in. Why have I never been in there? Let's go take a peek at that. So from here, right, right, down, left, I don't even have it on my map. I think maybe I've been there before and just ended up dying or not being able to make progress, but I don't remember why. So let's take a quick look. Oh, there was gold blocks there and I can get through the gold blocks now. Uh, yeah, I should be able to get up there somehow. Maybe? I remember there was kind of like a top half and a bottom half of this room. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, grapple, sure. And then what? I guess grapple again? Sure. That worked out pretty great, honestly. <laughs> I didn't even take any damage. I'm kind of. Oh, wow! Is that a boss? Or it might be something that's telling me about my progress, and I've gotten six, and there's six more things to go, maybe? Can I break this? I cannot. But that does feel like some kind of progress meter to me. Can I interact with it in any other way? It doesn't seem like it. Um, hmm. More crazy things that just add to the compounding mysteries right now. Okay, well, let me note this location on my map, 2312. And while I'm over here, down, right, down, gets me into a room that I haven't completely filled off. It seems to me that that portion was inaccessible for some reason, but I don't remember the details. So let's try to go inspect that. And from here, I think I can just go up and over this thing, like that, and then dash through here. Yeah, and then, hmm. Let me hit up the save point first, and then we'll come back here. Okay, so remind me why I can't get to the bottom right on this screen. I vaguely remember this area. So what is down and to the right? Oh, if I just like, tank a bunch of damage, it looks like I can get somewhere down here, and I don't think I've done this before. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, there's a diskette! Um, alright, I'm not sure... Can I... Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. So I can do this to tank less damage? Okay, come on. This is gonna be hard to get back to the save point. But I'm very interested to see which data diskette we just got. Okay, made it back to the save. So I have a data diskette, but then while we're here... The bottom right of that, I'm pretty sure that's something I couldn't do because I think I've done that recently. So I think I will go back to the diskette reader. Okay, diskette reader says seven. So let's see. I think it's either underwater or jungle or security that's new. I think I've already had that one. That one might be new. So maybe that's the diskette that we just picked up. And I'm kind of curious now, yeah, if the spinning Six orbs that we saw will now be seven orbs, so I kind of want to check that out. Oops, get out of here. Uh, leave. Also, there's like some red lights up there. 
which I hadn't really paid much attention to before. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that crazy spinny whatever. Oh, I think I just found a secret. Uh, there is a way to go down through here that I accidentally just shot some things. I see. This is just a shortcut through here? Maybe I found this a long time ago and I'd forgotten about it. Okay, so there's a way to go up and down between here. Is there a way to go right? Because the right of where I'm at right now is a room that I've never been to. Uh, let's see if we can find anything over there. Oh, right, I remember this room. This room's a lot more hostile than it used to be. Let's see, if I wanted to find an exit, hmm. It would be somewhere over here, it looks like, although there is that kind of, there we go, that suspicious block. I wonder if I can walk through right here, if I can get in that little gap. We talked before about how it can be difficult to get into tiny gaps, there we go just with the physics of this game. So I'm over here. Oh, there's a way to go up, maybe, and to the right. Up and... All right, figure something out here. Can I dash up? Can I dash right? Oops, crap, I just dashed back out. Hmm. This is very suspicious. Like, why would this be here if there wasn't a way for me to get through? Are there any other power-ups I'm not thinking of? I can't figure out a way to get through there, though. So I guess that will have to continue to remain a mystery for the moment. There's a teleporter just to the right of me. So I guess I'll head back down there for now. Hmm. So many mysteries in this game. Oh! I can go down through here now that I have the gold. I forgot about that. That's interesting. Um, for the moment, I want to go to the teleporter and go to a save point really quick. But let's go investigate that and see if that brings me somewhere that I haven't been. And then I am, I do need to go back to the little swirly thingies or whatever. So that was here. Um, I still don't know a way to go up from here, do I? I've never been in here since I had my vertical dashy jump thingy. And if I'm standing on the computer station, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any chance, oh, hey, look at this. Aha, aha, ha, 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 ha. There's a fisherman. Four pillars, four locked gates. I've unlocked two of the pillars, apparently. Meddling with things that one doesn't understand won't do any good. All right, well, I need to understand them. Maybe it's a one way out, and this is the exit through this room that I was seeing before. So if I wanna to get to the fisherman, can I go up through here? How do I get to the save point? I shot your fish, can I shoot you? Doesn't seem like it. I see, that was a little one way, can I? Can't even teleport through there, or whatever through there. One-way floor and a save point. It looks like there's a hole in the ceiling, possibly, that I could get to that save point and talk to the fisherman. So if there's a hole in the ceiling, that means the room above me would have some secret way down. Kind of just to the right of the midpoint of the screen, it looks like. So I guess now I'm going to try to get over there. Yeah, okay, so that was a one-way block through there. Okay, that's fair enough. I can live with that. Let me go save to have that progress on my map, and then we'll try to get over to the top of the fisherman. So this is the room, and it'll be right around here. Oh, right, there's spiders in this room. Interesting, there's spiders in this room. Any chance that if I kill the spiders, it might unlock like a secret entrance from killing all the enemies in the room? How else could I get down through the floor over here? It's possible I have to come from another room. There was a way down over here. Is there any chance that this, rather than going all the way down, I could then move to the left? That's possible. 
Let's check it out. And no, that seems to just drop me. I did not succeed getting back to the fisherman from the top, and so I wanted to check this out. Eh, this still... No, it does show seven. Okay, so it's seven and five, so this does seem to be diskettes. And so it seems like if I get all 12 diskettes, something is going to open up here. Okay, so that's something to look forward to, I suppose. Since I seem to just be filling in black squaces on the map, I wonder from here, can I go left and up somehow? Maybe now I have more vertical mobility than I used to? Yeah, I remember this room. And I can almost make it to the top. Are these crumble blocks as well? Yeah, they are. Now with this, aha, vertical dash, I'm in a new spot. Oh crap. <laughs> I let this new enemy get to me. All right, so he's like a gigantic, oh gosh. Are they invulnerable? Let's imagine they might be invulnerable. <laughs> All right, there's another crazy eyeball looking at me. Doesn't seem like I can go to the right. That guy's just gonna fall down, so let's go to the left. Okay, this guy is just gonna crawl along walls, sure. So is this guy and that guy. Um, okay, ouch. Guess I can, hmm. This does look like a place where I can do some fancy grappling hook maneuvers in order to get up there. Ouch. Oh gosh, those guys hurt. Four hit points. Holy crap. And there's even more of these guys? Okay, I should kill the little guys at least. Oops. Um... <laughs> I'm pretty near a teleport and a save point, so let's just... Uh. Hmm. How do I want to do this? If I... I can just hit that with my grappling hook with a normal jump. So what I should do is kill a few of those guys. Let's also kill this guy. Ignore these big guys that I can't seem to kill right now. Does that mean I'm going to get a new uh, gun upgrade at some point? I hope that it does. Oh, crap, that's Crumble Brock. Okay, don't go that way. Uh, now I just need to grapple. There we go. Looks like I might be able to go right from there as well, but let's not worry about it yet. Alright, all kinds of map squares getting filled in that I did not expect. Uh, these guys are all killable, uh, so I think I'll take the time to kill them. This guy, after I wake him up, he's going to start coming after me, and I think he does like a ground pound kind of thing. And this guy shouldn't be hard. This guy I might be able to hit from the corner. Yeah, great. Can I hit that guy too? No. But I can hit him here. I can see more stuff above me here. Okay, so I'm filling in. This might help me locate some more rooms in the notes as well. Because it's possibly where I am now. Looks like some of the notes that I wasn't able to find before. So I'll have to check that out in a bit. I see. That's the room... Is that the room that I was in before? Um, let me try that again. If I do that, that, and that, I think I can make that. There we go. Okay, yeah, because I couldn't get through that door over there to the left, but now I'm over here. Okay, great. So this is somewhere new. Oh, God, it's another one of these guys. I don't like you. Um, let's just grapple. Oh, crap. Grapple over his head and get past him and see if there's anything over here. There is. Okay, let's imagine that did something good for me. It's opened this door to get back out, which I guess is good. Uh, so I have some more things added to my map that I can go save now. So I guess I should be happy about that. <laughs> I'm not as happy about that as I was hoping to be. Um. And somewhere right here, yeah, this is the place that we unlocked Pillar 1, like right back at the beginning of the game, as I recall. Since we're here, and I'm fairly certain there's no enemies in here, I'm just going to run back over here and see if the computer said Pillar 1 is unlocked. Hello, computer. Pillar 1 is open, yeah, okay. So, Pillar 1 and Pillar 2, we have managed to unlock somehow. Oh, boy. 
Like, I'm not accomplishing what I meant to accomplish, but this is still useful and interesting and fun. And yes, I was looking for that in some of the notes, so let me review the notes from the diskette reader. So yes, this was extremely useful, because there's not one but two secrets up here. So basically, above me there's a secret, and it seems like if I go left and up, there should be a way to go right to get to that secret. And also, two screens to the left of me, there's a secret. Um, oh, but that was the pillar one unlock that we just saw. So it's just the one secret that I need to go. So left, up, and then there should be a way right, is what I need to do. And I guess there isn't a good way to kill these guys. And so I guess let's just avoid them. <laughs> if you can't kill, then avoid. That seems like a reasonable strategy. Um, sure. So, uh, right, I can just do this, this, and that. Okay, one of them got me, that's fine. Oh, right, and I was even saying that it looked like there might be a way to go right here. Oh, and that guy's even showing me the way, I see. This is a good, um, there's a couple places in this game, it's also in the underwater sector, where enemies uh, will just kind of path to show you secret places. Um, and I like that. And so... I think probably if I grapple, double jump, it's probably the best way to get in there. Okay, great. So there's a secret over here. And I think it's in this room. Um, okay. This is not what I expected, so I'm going to come back there in a minute. Is there a way to... Okay, I can't go through the ceiling. Interesting. It marked the secret is this room, but maybe the secret is just once you get to this room, you'll be able to find that other room to my right, I guess. So let's imagine this is actually the secret. And we're filling in some more map squares. And we're filling in good map squares. I'm actually pretty pleased about this, because we might be able to finally get to somewhere that I think I could have gotten earlier if I had played the game differently. When I get over there, I'll point it out. Can I walk on these? No, you fall through those. Okay, so is this going to be Pillar 3 unlocked, possibly? Pillar 4 has now been unlocked. Okay, so we still haven't unlocked Pillar number 3. And... Okay. And I think there's going to be a way out to the right here, possibly? Or am I making it up? I might be making that up. Is there going to be a way... There's usually like a second escape route out of these rooms, I feel like. So I'm going to look around for it. Okay, sadly I didn't find a way out. Down, right, and right is a teleporter save room where there is, now that the station power has been turned on, there is a very annoying <laughs> thing that prevents me from going that way. I guess I can just fall back down here and go back down this way now. I'll teleport over there just to show it to you because I see it often in my own travels, but I don't know that I've done it on camera in quite a while. So let me show that to you. So this is the room, and this door shuts, and I can't go down through here, and what annoys me is this door started shutting after we turned on the power, but I managed to get the horizontal dash before we turned on the power, so if I'd come to this room uh, before the power came on, I could have dashed to the left through there and visited whatever's to the left of me, and now I can't get there anymore, and so I kind of missed an opportunity to visit that square on the map at some earlier point in time. It seemed to me, yeah, there's another square that's very mysterious that's just to the right of this teleporter. So I don't remember what's over here at all. Let's just check it out and see if there's a way to get either right from this screen or down from the screen above it or whatever to try to find a way over there. Aha! I managed to get into it from the room to the right. And there was a little peaky part in the ceiling. Okay, so there's a weird alien statue thingy. And some weird slope blocks that I don't think I've encountered anywhere else before that you can kind of like walk up a slope. What do we have here? The planet the station orbits. Right! We've been to the ship. But apparently there's also something else orbiting the station that I forgot what it was. Was chosen because it was intended to be used for preservation purposes too. The idea is it would be turned into an artificial nature reserve similar to the station. However, this whole disaster happened before that could be done. The planet's still basically a rocky wasteland. 
I heard there's still a functioning teleport to get on its surface, though. Who knows where that is? They probably closed off the path to it anyhow. Sometimes I feel like this station has a whole layers of secrets only few know about. I vaguely feel like I might have read that before. Have I been here before? Uh, I'm curious after I leave how it appears on my map. No, it's a different color and it's dotted now. So maybe I was here before and I didn't live to tell the tale. That's a possibility as well. Okay. Um, any other spots I can fill in on the map? <laughs> okay, well, we're supposed to head downwards and I haven't really gone down back in this portion of the station in a while. Yeah, like I don't think I've ever actually gone down that way. Uh, this room, it seemed to me I could never get to the left for some reason. Yeah, and there's like new threats in here that I don't think were in here before. So let's see what happens if we go to the right. Um, ideally I want to head down further. So let's see if I can do that somehow. Alright, this thing does a lot of damage. Let's do that. This door is going to shut on me, but I can dash through here. Uh, is that thing going to jump at me? Yes, okay, but I can do that. Oh, crap! Yep, yep, yep. Oh, crap, come on. There we go, okay. <laughs> uh, there's a save point, yeah, to my left over here. Oh, but I can't get there because this is... Oh, this is interesting. Previously, I'd come from the bottom right and went to the bottom left, and if you shoot those little glowy things, it opened a bridge, but this is kind of an intersecting thing where I think... Oh no, I just cut myself off. That was a very foolish thing to do. Uh, is there any way to undo that now? Well, I showed off what I was trying to describe, but I wanted to go down. Instead, I think probably I should just take a death and go back. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna dash through you. Great. And then... This Metroid thing is probably worth killing. Helps if you actually hit it, if you're trying to kill it, by the way, in case you weren't sure. You can also go ahead and take that block out. Okay, don't get hit by the lightning. Vertical dash through here. There we go. Uh, this thing I could also just dash through if I choose to, although I think it'll be easier to jump over it like that. And then I want to dash in here, and now I want to go down, and I've never been... Oh boy! Except, can I destroy you? Maybe. Seems like... Oh! I feel like maybe I'd fought that guy before? I don't remember, but I've never been to the right, so maybe not. Maybe I just saw him through the wall, because it was closed off. Okay, uh, we're in a place. <laughs> um, what do we got over here? Looks like a path that I need to traverse to the right. Looks like it's going to be harder to come back than it is going to be to go across, I'm guessing. Okay, that doesn't seem so bad. Oh, crap, okay. So far, so good. Oh, save point. Or no. It's uh, Gamma or Delta, um, some lowercase Greek letter. Main entrance security gate, Delta locked. This is Delta. Opening. Oh, gate Delta has been opened. I opened something, and that looks like a way I can go up, doesn't it? Is there a way? Yeah, maybe it's just uh, freaky something something. Okay, so there's Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta, so this is Delta. Okay, so if I can go find Gamma to the left, I imagine it might unlock more things. Okay, so I have to get back now, um, which I think will just involve dashing for the most part. Dash, oops, crap, dash, there we go. This is harder to do than I thought it was gonna be. That, oh crap. Okay, oh, darn it, there's another one. Oh, there is a way back up here. <laughs> Alright, I was just redoing this. And yeah, this is the safe way back. I don't know how I somehow missed that the first time. But there is a safe way back. I did take some damage, as you can see. Oop, from this guy who's back. Okay. Uh, this is still open. Okay, so I'm here. Have I ever been able to read this computer? I don't remember. 
Docking bay. Yeah, I think I have read this before. Okay. And so I've been to the left before. There's a save point above me. I wonder if I can get to the save point right now. Because I would love to save. That would be pretty amazing. So yeah, let's see if we can get to the save point. And I guess the safe way to do it, this is not too threatening of a room. Ideally, okay. Uh, yeah, let's just hurry. Show me save. Yes, I can get here, great. Okay, so we have three of the four, Alpha, Beta, and Delta, and now I'm gonna try to get to Gamma, which is down and to the left. And... I see, and previously I couldn't do this because I didn't have the vertical dash yet to get through here. Let's go ahead and shoot that first. And I guess I can just go over here, fine. This doesn't seem too scary. Yeah, this seems fine. I can even just dash right through them, right? Yeah, this seems pretty weak in terms of security. Uh, over here... Um, it looks like I can jump up through here. Great. Okay, so here's Gamma. Main entrance security gate, Gamma locked. Opening, Gamma gate has been opened. Great, and so I'm guessing that room in the middle now, maybe the doors have opened? But I want to get back to a save, so that we save this progress. Okay, made it back to the save. So let's go check out the room below us, and see if the doors have been unlocked. Uh, do I have to fight the robot again here? Uh, these doors have not been unlocked. Okay, that's what I was thinking might have happened. So that did not happen. So what does unlocking those four things do for us then? I don't know. Hmm. Have I had the triple shot when I've been in this room? I remember seeing that up in the corner there. There we go. Which unlocks something farther down. Uh, where did it... Ah, something below, down here. Okay, see that? There's like a thingy. How do I get there? Um, oh, it was a race, wasn't it? Because that didn't used to be shut. Uh, no, that floor's always been shut. So how did I get down? Hmm. Is there another way to get down into that section? From over here, maybe? From over here, maybe. Okay. Okay, so that's... Hmm. But then what? Did it unlock something else over here? Um, I'm a little confused. I'm gonna die again. But that's okay, we're exploring. So is there a way... Hmm. Is there a way from... Hmm. Okay, I managed to make it back to the save point and not die. So my question is... If I hit this and then pay careful attention to exactly what it does. I see, it unlocks the thing below, but the question is how do I hit it and be down there? Like in the same room transition, because that's open, but if I exit the room and come back in, it's shut again. And the only way it seems that I can get down there is by exiting the room and coming through over here. So, you see my conundrum, right? I had an idea. I'm above that vertical shaft. Maybe there's a way into it from here. Yeah, I could totally believe that. I could fall through the sand, possibly, and get there, maybe. Oh, wait. I've never been here before, actually. I didn't have the vertical power up the last time I was here to get into this room. Okay, let's check out this whole room, I guess. I see another... Something. Yeah, I can swim in the sand just fine. There we go. I just want to kill these things, because I presume they'll, like, jump up out of me, or jump up out of the sand at me. Or something else horrible at some point later on. Or maybe they're just here as a penalty if I fall down there. Oh, there's a worm over here as well. Okay. Great. Didn't seem like there was a point in shooting all those guys. Uh, how do I get out of here? There we go. Um, so I was wondering if there's a way down from here. I 
don't think I see that right now. It would be like around here, probably. I guess let me try seeing what happens. Okay, I can fall through here. Okay. We're in all kinds of new places here. Okay, there's still somewhere to go up and left. Um, okay, and the place would be to my right. That's what I want to know. Basically, is there somewhere... Okay, that just brings me back up here. Um, yeah, I want to be right over here somehow. Are you killable? Uh, yeah, you seem to be invincible. So let's not worry about you. Is there a way through this wall on the right? I don't think so. Okay, let's not worry about that right now then. And instead... Oh, you can stand on these mushroom thingies. I did not realize that. Great. In that case, I can treat it as a platformer challenge rather than a grappling hook challenge. Whatever. Where does this bring me? More places I haven't been. I like that there's always so much to explore and just like the um, like topography or geometry or whatever I'm trying to say in terms of the layout of how the rooms interconnect. Oh, I didn't actually light up that room on my map, so I'll have to go fix that. Makes things really interesting. And I guess there's nothing to be found down here, but just the fact that there is sand down here makes me want to check. Okay, I don't see any secrets there. And I can go to the left, which is still a new place to go, so we'll try that next. And that seems as simple as grapple, grapple, jump. Okay, there's a secret here that added a block on the right for me to stand on, which seems like it is my, if you die, now you have a way to recover to get back thing, I'm guessing, and I have to grapple across the roof and not hit the pink squares. Maybe? This seems not so bad. Oh boy. Um, I need a big grapple right there. Crap. That would have been okay, maybe. Oh boy. Oh, I made it. Okay, and there's a disc. Have I been here before? I feel like I've seen this disc before. You found a data disc yet. Maybe it holds some information about what happened on the station. I'm so happy. I... Uh... Interesting. And it looks like there's a way... Yeah, I have been here before and never had it saved on the map because I came down through here with the vertical dash. I remember the room above me. Right, and it looks like I have to go back up and that's an exit now, apparently, is what's going on here. Okay, so we found a data diskette. Here's the room that I was failing to describe, but that I remember. Uh, and there is a save over here, so that's great. So we got another data diskette that I'll have to go and take a look at at some point. There's two squares above me and one to the left. There's a blank spot on my map, which I am somewhat curious about, but I've spent a little bit of time off camera trying to get there before anyway. I have to go past there in order to get back to the teleporter, I think, at this point. So, yeah, I'll take a peek at that with you guys. Oh, guess what? Here we are below this room, and previously I only had a double jump. But now I also have a dash. Look at that. There's a teleporter in that room. And there's an upgrade. Oh, cool. Uh, the fact that there's a teleporter in that room means I can just teleport to the upgrade. And I'm pretty sure that's how I'm supposed to get there. Uh, and the teleporter, as I recall, is just through here. Yeah, it'll take me a little bit of time to get there. I'll do it on my own. Okay, reach the teleporter in the underwater sector. Let's teleport over here. Oops! I'm such a dummy. Okay, let's carefully think through the puzzle that we have here. I guess if I right dash and then double jump, I can land on the ledge. There we go. <laughs> you found the plasma field! Oh! Enemies take damage if they touch the three plasma balls that float around you. Okay, it's like a little defense thingy. Seems like it's an optional bonus upgrade, but that's not bad. Cool, let's go save with that. And at this point, I don't know, I did a bunch of exploring, but I think I'm ready to take a break from playing for now. So, yeah, it's always nice to fill in more of the map, so I feel good about that. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, 
and I will see you again soon for more Environmental Station Alpha. For now, bye-bye.